Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Reviews. You can see by the title below, this is on episode 8 of Orange and What did I say? I knew it. I was like, what is the possibility that maybe they actually all have letters? It's always seemed like, you know, Azusa and Taka have been always in these certain locations. Like even at the end of last week's episode, they're waiting outside the door. And it just seems peculiar. Like how would they know in these certain events? Even in that one point when Naho is trying to carry the box that that stupid dumb bitch gave her we see that they ended up running into her for some reason on the way over there like why would they be there probably because of the letter it's gotta be they, their letter probably says some stuff too and it's really interesting because i'm really hoping the next episode they explain like what has their letter said because sua and naho's letters have been different they're not exactly the same you know they're written from different people different perspectives different regrets so i'm hoping we get to see um the other you know the other three's letters like what is different what have they been doing because there have been some key events where you see they are trying to help in certain things but they haven't been as big as it's been with sua or naho so i really want to know what their letters have been said you know have been saying for them and then of course connect their letters together and maybe figure a way to change things up because this letter this this episode they really already deviate from the letters Sua and Naho decide you know they're not gonna use the letters they're gonna try and do their own thing because now that the future is changing they cannot rely on the letters and it makes sense because the future is changing and it seems to be that the different dimension different um, timeline kind of thing is in effect and it is true because things are happening that don't happen in the letter because what they have done has changed it. If it did was on the same timeline, then when they change something, their letter would change as well, to which it doesn't. So it makes sense that everything that goes on next, they really have to be careful. They cannot just rely straight up on the letter. For example, the whole thing with the relay. Kakadu was actually excited for the relay, but then of course Sua got him to go out of it. Of course, ends up you know, Sua, um, Azu, Azuha, and Taka end up talking to him, figuring out about the letters thing, and then all of a sudden everyone's like, I want to run, I want to run, yeah, I'll run too for, you know, for him. And it was pretty funny for Hagita, like, I, like, literally, I said before that in these romance kind of things, there's always a side romance that I always love and want to see something happen, and for this, it's pretty much Azusa and, you know, um, Hagi, um, Hagita. I want to know, is there something going to happen between them? It just seems like, obviously, it is, there is something between them. And when he asked to just have her, and he was going to tell her something, I was hoping it was like a confession or something. I thought it would have been pretty damn cute. Like, it, they are pretty cute together, honestly. And like, <laughs> it was pretty funny. He's like, Hagita? Hagita? And he's like, oh, 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 I'll run too, even though he cannot run. We see him running. In the opening, we see him like... And he's super slow and everything, and it's pretty funny to see him actually trying for this. But, of course, they're all friends. They're all going to, you know, run together. Friends forever, run together forever kind of thing. And I can't wait to see the next episode to see the relay. See um, Hagita probably, yeah, um, be pretty damn slow. And I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they're not going to end up winning. But I'm thinking we had a lot of cute moments, this whole thing with, oh, my gosh, Naho. Ah, there's always these moments. Like, I, I've told you before that, you know, Naho... Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Please, Naho, come on. Like, this episode, I was literally, like, pulling my hair out when um, Kakadu would be like this with his hand out, and she'd be like, huh? What's wrong? And I'm like, he wants to hold your hand. And, of course, when, on, when they're on the roof and Naho's completely clueless, she's so cute and innocent sometimes, but it's irritating sometimes. When you're the watch, you know, the person watching, you're like, do, come on can you not see he wants you to hold his hand and then they laugh and they tell you know tell her even Hagita who seems like a the dork that wouldn't know this kind of stuff is like hm, yeah hm. maybe he didn't know actually I don't know I can't really tell but um finally she knows now so maybe she will end up holding his hand in the next episode maybe we'll get more into because they're not together yet they're not together yet we saw his reasonings that he said but I'm thinking and hoping that next episode they will start to go out. Though you do see that it's pretty hard for Sua as well because he's supposed to be the one to push them into this relationship. It says in his letters, but he said he couldn't do it. Naho doesn't see why. Um, she doesn't bring it up, but it's obvious that Sua is 
he's trying his best to do this. He really cares about Kakadu. He really cares about Naho. And he really loves Naho. And he's willing to do anything. But there's times like this where, like, I, I feel him, man. I'd be the same way. I'd be like, I love Naho. I, don't, I, can't, I can't see myself doing this. I can't see myself pushing them together. And then, of course, you know, never going to be with her kind of thing. He wants Kakadu to live, but he doesn't want... I mean, he wants to be with Naho. It, it, it's such a frustrating thing that, like, I keep saying that Sua is literally the best character in the show. It shows how, you know, strong and mature he is to be... He is the one that really helped out Kakadu in the last episode. He's been the one for, you know, helping out Naho. And he's literally just been the best character, in my opinion, on this show. Um... And just seeing that he is having a problem doing this and he's not just doing it straight up, it just shows how much of a human he is. He's mature, but he still has these problems. And honestly, I'm loving his character and I kind of, like, not going to lie, I, I think Sue is, like, my favorite character. Like, I like Naho, I like Kakadu, the others are fun as well. But Sue is just a really great friend and I just feel sorry for him sometimes. Like, I, I it, the problem is I want Kakadu and Naho to be together, but... I feel really bad for Sua every time this, these kind of things happen, you know, like to see the love of your life and you have to, you're pretty much helping push them together kind of thing and saying goodbye to your possibility of you and her being together. It, it's got to be so hard and I want, I'm telling you like somewhere along the way in these next episodes, there's going to be a point where he's just going to break and then he's not going to be able to do it and something big is going to happen. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, but yeah, that's pretty much the episode guys. Like I said, we had these moments with Kakadu and Naho. We had the whole deviating from the letter thing. And then, of course, we had the whole everyone has letters. It's time to save Kakadu. And that was the episode. Honestly, I loved it. Another great episode. Not on point as the feels as the last one, which I'm happy. Because too much feels is too, is too much for every, anyone's heart. But this episode was definitely a lighter tone. Definitely a lot of nice moments, funny moments, cute moments frustrating moments and of course moments where we're like oh my gosh they all have damn fucking letters <laughs> yeah i can't wait for next week's episode to see what's gonna happen between all of them what are they gonna do and will naho and kakadu finally be together i don't know just gotta wait for next week's episode so yeah that's all i gotta say guys hope you enjoyed this anime kingdom review if you have any questions feel free to comment below there's anything i missed and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more content it really does help the channel and yeah that's all i gotta say guys so until next time See ya.